Welcome back students to another Tech 2 tutorial video series, Graphic Design Level 2. The previous video, we chose a template that we'll be using for our paper airplane contest poster. But this poster does not represent a paper airplane contest very well. We're going to be searching for some items that are going to help us show that it's for a paper airplane contest. Here in this particular search bar, we're going to go ahead and type in paper airplane. We have different templates and styles. Paper airplane also goes into our elements. So we're going to go into our elements and type in paper airplane and see what comes up. Oh, wonderful. There are some graphics here that we can use to make our poster look more like a poster for a paper airplane contest. I think I'm probably, yes, I'm for sure going to be using this item. Here, you could just click and drag it onto, onto the project paper. As you can see, some of the information on this particular poster does not have elements showing, telling the audience that it's for a paper airplane contest. I'm going to change this particular text to read paper airplane contest. I'll also start to delete some of the other items that I'm not interested in having on my poster. I'm not going to be needing a comment section, so I'll be deleting that. Just click, just clicking and editing what we don't need. I do like the background of the grids because it shows that it's on a piece of paper, like a graph paper which would be common to be used to design a particular airplane. I'm going to move it and use the dotted lines to align it to several other items to make sure that everything's even and straight. I'm going to change some of the texts to show when and where the contest will, will be at, as well as how it's going to be judged. Now I have some of my key information on my poster. I'm going to move some of the graphics and images to make it look really nice. In this design, you can see I've changed the words of the poster to reflect my particular activity, which is a paper airplane contest. I've added a graphic item, uh, which is a paper airplane flying through the air as well as changing some of the words to reflect the information important for my project. Rather than signing the bottom of the poster, I'm going to add a picture of myself so they know that I'm the one that edited this, pit, this poster. I'm going to go to my upload section. If I haven't uploaded it already, I would use the upload file in order to capture a picture that I have on my computer. Since that is me, I'm going to choose myself. I cropped it so it's a little bit smaller so it doesn't overpower the rules or the contest name. Rather than having a silly standard square box for a picture, I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to use frames. Frames is a wonderful way for it to automatically crop or give life to your picture. I'm going to place the frame here, and then I'm going to choose the picture I would like to put into the frame and I'll automatically crop it right in the middle. That looks a little bit more interesting. I'm going to put that right here. This image is also a little bit standard. 
And instead of having a standard picture, I'm going to go click it and I am going to do some editing of the, of the photo. Here you can see we can add links as well as comments to the picture. I can align it to a specific portion, a specific spot of the poster, as well as copy and paste it. You are going to have to edit a photo and choose a filter or an effect that better suits you. But this is one of the requirements for this particular Tech2 tutorial project. After I've chosen my photo as well as a frame I think would look nice, I'm going to edit my picture so it's not the original. I'm going to select the photo and I'm, then I'm going to edit. Here you can see all the different filters as well as Magic Studio that you can do on this photo. I'm not too sure what's in the background, so I think I'm going to change it a little bit. And I'm going to remove the background so you can't see anything. Then I think I'm going to change a little bit of the color so I look a little different. Something maybe a little black and white. I think that looks good. What a wonderful picture. And that will conclude graphic design level two. Don't forget, you'll be using this same project for graphic design level three. See you in the next video.